Hey, it's Fancy Nance. I've always had a sense of style, and I want to finish my guest bathroom. So let's DIY today. Come with me now, and let's have some fun. It's DIY with Fancy Nance, career talent agent turned DIY princess. So today we're going to do DIY with Fancy Nance in my guest suite bathroom. Stay tuned. Hey, it's DIY with Fancy Nance. And you can see my experimental glitter uh, mess right now is drying. And you really can't see it on the camera, what I've done in person. And I see the two drip stains. So what I did was I tested the inside of a cabinet I'm never going to use to see how it would look on the outside. These wooden cabinets are really old and need to be repurposed. I don't wanna pay anybody to do that. So I'm gonna do it myself and I'm gonna do it my way. Now, if it's the right way, I don't know, but I'm experimenting. And that's why it's called do it yourself or DIY. So I'm gonna show you what I used on the inside of this cabinet right now. And I'm sure I'll get comments below. But as long as the smell is not too bad inside and you leave your doors highly ventilated and your windows open and you use mainly water-based products, especially in California, you will be okay, I hope. So here we go. So because this is wood that I'm working on and I've learned the hard way by trying to paint glass and other things um, with spray paint, I now figured out to buy Rust-Oleum, I like that brand, shout out to them, um, Universal Bonding Primer, which I should have known in the first place. So I primed the entire cabinet inside, as you see right here, even the parts which I just put the glitter on with a primer. So it turned the cabinets more from a cream to a kind of a whitish color. And then when I was done priming, I used, and I just reordered my Krylon, and I like that product too, shout out. It's not on my nails, I promise it's just nail polish on my nails, but it looks all glitter and gold in my world. Krylon Shimmer Metallic Gold Shimmer. I really do like this color. It's a true like gold. It's kind of uh, exactly what the chair looks like, kind of a brushed gold. Uh, what's on my walls, which I've shown a million times in videos, is a painter's gold, which is called Pharaoh's Gold with glitter over it. And I will show you the glitter part in a minute. And so then I let that dry. Then as a top coat to get the glitter on, instead of using spray paint for glitter, I will show you what I found and what I still have left over from my beautiful walls that were painted. I have a mixture which looks really icky in there. And let me show you the packaging. Okay, so this is the most important part with painting and using glitter. As far as I can tell, because I looked on the internet for a long time, and I really did want gold anyway, I don't know what other colors they make except for a clear, which is gonna come out more of a metallic, whitish, silverish, but I wanted gold. The only gold, now I'm talking glitter for paint, not spray paint, not nail polish, for real water-based paint. It used to be labeled under a different brand, but right now it is called Divine Color. Gold dust, and it says add to sparkle to paint, add sparkle to paint. It's pretty self explanatory and it gives you some instructions on the back. But basically, uh, you can, and I did find some of it at Target and at specialty paint stores. It is not that inexpensive. It was probably the most expensive thing in my DIY project. This little pack was around nine dollars maybe ten with tax i know that was the glitter to my gold for my diy my paints were not expensive nothing that i used was really expensive um except this gold dust but it made such a big difference on my gold walls my walls are literally chock full of glitter you can't see from far away but when you look up close in the camera there's just glitter for days and when you look far back um, in person, it just adds a real good speckle. Um, you will not see it right now on this camera, but it, in person, it's just absolutely beautiful. It just makes the walls just, as I say, pop, but it's just really gorgeous. So basically, 
this skull dust is something you need. And if you add it to a clear semi uh, gloss top coat, um, which is over here, hold on, a master clear metallic paint, which is just an acrylic clear top coat semi gloss. And you mix that in a little paint thing with the gold dust. You can use it as a top coat for the extra sparkle. And then when you're done, you could put a second coat of clear top coat on top, or you could use a spray paint top coat, which I have there in the background. Either way, I think that the paints are more water-based and probably better for inside than the spray paints, but you can mix and match. And that's what I'm going to do on the outside of my cabinets right now. I'm going to prime them and then I am going to paint them. So that's my tutorial on how I did my glitter paint. I always say, be creative, try things outside of the box, and mix colors. It's fun. I have now primed this cabinet. My videos are video friendly, but this Brookstone Mighty Max is now blowing air on the primed cabinet because Yes, it does smell really bad. My videos are all very friendly. DIY, fancy Nance style. And this is my crafts closet, by the way. Meet my friend's crafts closet. Um, in any event, at Orchard Hardware, there's another shout out. I did pick up this 3M respirator thing, whatever. I've never needed it before, but I did use it when priming. Oh yeah, I put this bad boy over my nose and mouth it goes this way sorry and um you should also wear safety goggles i have plastic safety goggles as well but you definitely should wear them i was standing pretty far away when i was priming but um yes my windows are open the crickets are now chirping my doors are pretty much open and i am letting everything aerate Ah, my timing's not perfect, but I wanted to do a little refurbishing on the cabinets before my birthday at the end of the week. So, DIY Nancy, please drive fast. And I'm probably going to open some more stuff so I get more ventilation. My fan is still on, but make sure to cover with a painter's tarp everything on the vanity that you do not want to get paint on before you start painting. Common Sense 101. My fancy Nance. As all the videos say, you want to do a very light coat of your spray paint when you do the cabinet. Now, these cabinets have ridges. I did think about taping them off and doing double colors, but then I thought, well, it's a lot of work and I just want it to be glittery and give it a, a little extra something. So I think I'm going to just spray everything gold and put a glitter finish on top and not mess with uh, accent colors and things like that at this time. I'm going to keep it a little more simple. Fancy Nance keeps it simple. There's a first for you. So I'm going to spray right now very light strokes. It's going on okay. Um, I'm doing it in light coats. It's a little patchy, but I think with the glitter on top, it will cover it and it will be okay. Remember, this is my DIY experiment, so <laughs> I'm not that worried. I have to laugh off life. Life's just a bowl of cherries, I always say, but I'm gonna keep spraying right now, and I don't wanna get any on the camera, but it's just very light, light, light strokes you wanna do. Okay, here's my progress. I'm gonna keep shaking and spraying. You can see, very light strokes, because I have one bad arm and it's getting tired, so I have to keep switching off. I have some mess ups, so I'm taking a paintbrush and just painting them down, my drips. And then what I'm planning to do, because I'm using um, glitter anyway, I'm going to do a second coat, which will cover them. I've done this before well enough. And once I put the glitter on, you will not see my mess ups. I know this is not what they say in the professionals book, but this is DIY with fancy hands. So I'm not worrying about the drips. It's kind of a distressed gold look. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with everything I've done so far. I am out of a bottle, so I need to go get another can of spray paint. It looks very dull, but it is definitely coming along very nicely. It is up close, 
very, very, very gold. You just can't see it yet. And once the glitter is on it, it will sparkle. I know there's some little bumps, little ridgy bumps. And maybe that's because I didn't sand the wood and it didn't grit or it didn't stick. But you know what? I'm gonna put glitter over it. And so, except for a boo-boo here and a boo-boo there, and here a boo-boo, there a boo-boo, everywhere a boo-boo, boo-boo, um, I'm not that worried. So I'm gonna spray my last cabinet inside door. Okay, so now I am covered in glitter. Uh, yes, my hands need a shower. And I did wear gloves. This hand's a little better. No wearing my fancy rings right now. And my air filter got a little dusty, so there is gonna be some cleanup. I actually think without the glitter, it actually looks kind of pretty, the brushed gold. But I'm gonna wait till it completely, completely dries. I got every corner of every, yes, I splattered in the bottom drawer, which all I keep is hairbrushes in there. I was not the neatest I've ever been. I don't care. I'm sort of just wanted to get rid of that old wood look in my beautiful bathroom. And yeah, I need to, with uh, paint thinner, clean up the edges of the um, insides. That's for another day, another project. Right now, I'm just so happy that the marble gold in my countertops matches the wood finally in my drawers finally a piece of art instead of a piece of crap which is what i was given when i moved here <laughs> and this is a luxury place well they picked some luxury let me tell you that wood was really gut ugly anyway um i'm gonna let this dry and i will be back i still have the fan on everything is dry now and it's going to be hard to see what I'm doing because the paintbrush is full of glitter and it is full of the gel that I talked about, the top coat, the clear acrylic water-based top coat. So now I'm using water-based on the top, which is probably what I should have done all along. And I am just painting right now everything evenly in strokes. And that's what I'm going to do across all the cabinets to smooth out everything. So I'm going to smooth everything out, paint as neatly as I can, and then I will come back and show you. But there is definitely gonna be a glitter top coat on here. And when I go get my flashlight, you will see how glittery this becomes. Okay, well you can't really see this, the glitter, even I can't see it without the flashlight, without extra, extra light, even with the fan. So now I'm going to take my flashlight on every single piece that I painted. See, I missed one spot there. And I'm gonna go through and make sure that my shellac hit every gold spot. Now I know that there's some uneven pieces from the spray paint, but it is okay, because it's like a distressed look, kind of like a mod, urban, kind of uh, lofty type, look and yeah it's not absolutely perfect the spray paint coat that I did there are some splotches but you know what from far back you can't really see them and I am so much happier with what I have than what I did have so I'm going to go through right now I'm going to make sure that all the glitter is coated then do the inside cabinets and then I'm going to cover my paint clean up my supplies in the morning when everything is dry and just go over a few little touch-ups like right there there's a drip I need to go over everything and then I'm gonna bring a another light in here so you can see all the glitter on the cabinets when it's fully dry so you can see just how sparkly this bathroom is now okay these cabinets bathroom whatever you call them um, really are I mean look at the glitter with the lights off on these cabinets they really really Hollywood sparkle so wow that's a lot of sparkle a lot of glitter maybe even more glitter than I would have gotten from a 
glitter top coat. I don't know, but I used a water-based top coat. And for that, I'm happy because it sealed everything with a water base. And now it just needs probably, I don't know, overnight or at least a couple days to dry. Um, some of the glaze is getting a little gloopy, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, there's some bumps, but you know what? I'm not gonna stress over the bumps at the moment. And there's a few like marks where you can see where the glitter glaze went on more and where it didn't. But I think when the lights are on and people are using the guest bathroom, no one's really going to notice except for me probably. So um, I'm just going to smooth out a few more places. And when it is all done and dry, then I will have to clean up the rest of the bathroom. Ooh, won't that be fun DIY? And then I will be back for the reveal. It really matches with the gold walls that I painted and the marble finish on the countertops and just adds a little extra flair of modernism to my bathroom and the red towels give it that pop of color. So I'm extremely happy. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Fancy Dance, F-A-N-C-I-E-N-A-N-C. -E and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Banter Entertainment, B-A-N-T-E-R, and then Entertainment. Thanks. Thanks for watching today, and as I always say, from Fancy Dance, I'll see you soon.